Hello and welcome to another brief demonstration of new features in the lunar release of the Eclipse Papyrus project. Today we'll look at repairing broken stereotype applications in UML models. Okay, so let's start with an example of a profile. This is just a small profile that defines uh, various different commonly occurring constructs. We have uh, a stereotype extending the class metaclass. It has an association to a metaclass. It has an association to a, a data type, which is manifest in EMF as a contained E class. And we have an attribute of an enumerated type, and we have a multi valued string attribute. So a variety of different things that manifest themselves in different ways in the XMI serialization of a UML model. And we also have a number of models that have this profile applied uh, in various broken and non-broken ways. So we have a model that has the profile correctly applied and is therefore not broken. So in this class here, the stereotype, we have a value for the enumerated attribute. We have multiple string values in this attribute. We have a name in this attribute that has, you know, initials, first name, last name. And we have references to other UML model elements. So that all looks good. Then we have a few other models that have a variety of different problems. So let's look at the case where we have a model that has the current version of this profile applied. That's the 002 version and it has stereotype applications from the 001 version. So if we open this up in a text editor, we can see here a stereotype instance from the first version of the schema, of the profile schema. And in fact, the version that we have applied is this one, which is the second version. So, you know, this e package is not the same as this e package. Right. So, if in fact we had stereotype instances also from the current version of the profile, then we would see two different namespaces one called my profile, the other one called my profile underscore one. So, that's a a scenario that has been reported several times. Okay, so let's open this model. So, so far it looks okay because uh, UML2 is able to resolve the reference to the, the E package, so it can construct properly the stereotype application. It is properly associated with its base UML element, which is this class. So everything works, but it's an inconsistency because it's the 001 version of the profile that's applied. And that is not, so it, it's an instance of this stereotype from the 001 version where the 002 version is actually currently applied to, uh, to this model. So we see there's one stereotype application affected from this resource in the workspace. We have a variety of, of actions that we can take to resolve this problem. We can postpone, which just means, you know, don't worry about it for now, we'll deal with, deal with it later. We can create markers to uh, create, um, uh, th those are markers that will appear in the problems view. And, or, and or model validation that we can use to review uh, at our leisure later. 
the specific instances of issues. We can delete all the stereotypes from this schema if we're confident that we don't need any of that data anymore. Or we can migrate to the current version of the profile. So this is the recommended action because we can find the profile to, um, to apply and migrate to. So let's go ahead and apply that action. So it looks like nothing really has changed, right? Because we see all the same information as we did before. Uh, that's not really a surprise because UML2 supports uh, dealing with back versions of a profile. But in this case, when we save and look at the XMI serialization again, we'll see that indeed now this uh, underscore seven RU, et cetera, is the version of the schema that we've instantiated uh, the stereotype from. So there it is, the, we had a zero there before. So that is one of the resolutions available to us. In the, which is particularly convenient for uh, instances of the wrong uh, profile version. Now it is not a problem if in fact this profile had a newer version available but the older version was actually properly applied to the model. That is not an error. That's a case of um, the voluntary uh, migration to the latest version of the profile but it isn't a problem because we won't be mixing uh, multiple versions of the same uh, schema in our UML model. So another problem that we might face is what if I apply a profile to my model and then uh, the profile goes away. It's moved to another location um, or it's just deleted. It's obsolete. In any case, when I open the model, uh, we can't resolve the schema for uh, stereotype applications because um, we don't have that profile applied anymore. So if we look at the XMI here again, we can see that this model has no uh, profile application. It has stereotype instances from a profile that had been applied at some point. And in fact, we have a proper uh, namespace declaration with location and everything for that, uh, for that profile that used to be applied. So the only problem here is that the profile is not applied to the model. So uh, these the stereotype instance is not validly applied to the element that it extends. So let's go ahead and open this model. And up comes the repair stereotypes dialog again. Again, there's one stereotype instance affected. This one comes from what looks like the 002 version of a profile called my profile that's not applied. And as before, we have the same uh, actions available. In this case, what Migrate Profile will do is it will actually apply the profile and migrate the stereotype applications to that profile. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So now we can look at here, and now we see that indeed the 002 version of our profile is applied. And now we see the stereotype properly applied to this element. If I save and look again at the XMI, now we can see the only change is that we've created this profile application, which references the schema that our stereotypes had actually instantiated before, but just that 
they weren't valid because the profile was not applied in the UML sense. So that's another class of problems that has been reported. And a final case is uh, a bit trickier. This is a case where um, we have a profile applied, but the profile has gone AWOL. So we don't know uh, the, the location that we have for this profile no longer has that profile. It's gone somewhere we don't know where. Maybe it was deleted, it was moved. In any case, this model was not updated to reflect the new location of the profile. So as far as EMF is concerned, the ePackage definition of the profile is unknown. We can't match it up with uh, any ePackage that is known to us. And um, Let's have a look at what that looks like in the XMI. So again, the stereotype looks fine. Here, this is an unresolvable reference because the My Profile resource is not in this missing schema folder. It's somewhere else. And the schema location is also an unresolved, the same unresolved reference because that resource is not in this location. So when we open up this model, in fact, in this case now, we see no manifestation of the stereotype information because we couldn't resolve it. UML doesn't recognize it as uh, a stereotype extending this class one element. And in fact, EMF has no information about the schema. It just tries as well as it can to infer what the schema might be from the XML that it's reading in. So that's why here in parentheses we have, we guess that this was a profile named my profile based on the namespace prefix that had been written out the last time that this, uh, that this model was saved. So again, we have the same options and we have the migrate profile option. In this case, uh, Papyrus does not have any idea of what profile this might match up with. So it prompts to say, give me a profile uh, to try to migrate these stereotype applications to. We can choose one from the ones that are uh, deployed in plugins, or we can pick one from the workspace. For the purpose of this demo, I'll pick one from the workspace. And in fact, I'll pick this one here. There we are, so we'll say OK, and we're done. Now, because the diagram had lost the, um, the stereotype application, it cleaned itself up, deleting compartments and uh, whatever views and styles and things that presented the stereotype information, so that's gone. But we have recovered the actual stereotype data here. So once again, all our stereotype data are safe. And if we save and look again at the XMI, what do we get? We get the pro proper schema location. So that is a resolvable reference now to the profile in our workspace. And the profile application is updated with similar references that are now properly resolvable. So uh, one more little thing to demonstrate for the purpose of uh, experimentation. Let's replace this with the previous unrepaired version, and let's go introduce uh, something else interesting. Let's say that the profile that we don't know anymore where it is had some other attribute called you know, foo with some kind of value there, whatever. This now is 
not uh, an attribute that will be able to uh, migrate to the uh, the current version of this profile because it's not defined in the profile. So we'll see what happens when we try to repair this. So here comes the familiar dialogue again. And once again, we will proceed by migrating to this profile. Now, one thing that I haven't really mentioned before is what this apply button is about. <laughs> so in these examples we've been looking at, there's only uh, one resource that has one um, profile schema that is problematic. There could be multiple different schemas that we need to deal with in a given resource. There might be multiple resources that we need to deal with in the case of a model that has controlled uh, units. <clears throat> so in those cases, <clears throat> we can choose to postpone the repair of some schemas and some resources, migrate others, uh, delete stereotypes from others, and so on. So when we hit apply, any of the definitive actions that aren't to postpone will be applied to the model, and then we're left with the remaining ones to review and perhaps uh, continue to work with, or just dismiss the dialogue and go on with our work. <clears throat> Anyways, because here we only have the one, uh, the one action to apply, we can just hit uh, OK and be done with it. So, as before, we'll uh, pick the profile from the local workspace to apply, and that's good. And now here's something new. So this should look familiar from the uh, previous demo of the profile switch feature. So some uh, of our repair actions couldn't be finished. What's the problem? This foo attribute that we just invented and hacked up in the XMI uh, doesn't match anything in the profile that we applied. So that is a problem that perhaps we can record for later to review at our leisure. But apart from that, we did success successfully recover our stereotype data. So there you have it. That is repairing broken stereotypes in the M7 milestone of the lunar release of Eclipse Papyrus project. Thank you.